fourth grade ELA text set series, Vanishing Cultures. The title of the book is Far North. It is the last book we'll be reading in Jane Reynolds' Vanishing Culture series. What, not, what other books in this series does this one remind you of? The girls featured in the story live even farther north from the Inuit. Even so, what challenges might they have in common? What sorts of things do you expect to learn from these girls? Introduction. The Samis live in a land from the far north called Finnmark or Lapland. Well, the sun can sometimes shine all day and nights during the summer, and sometimes not shine at all in the winter. They make their shelter by wrapping heavy cloth around poles made from trees, which are then fastened together all at the top. For thousands of years, the Samis have followed the migration of the reindeer across the plateaus and up in the mountains in the summer and then back down to the plateaus in the winter. Following the natural cycle of the seasons, they believe that nature will always care for them. But this ancient way of life is disappearing as new roads and towns change the landscape and helicopter and snowmobiles replace the Samis' traditional methods of reindeer herding. We and the Samis are all part of the ha same fa human family, and the loss of the Samis' traditional way of life is our loss, too. Like the Samis, we all depend on the natural world to live. We all share this earth, its lands and waters, and because of this, perhaps we should take a look at the Sami's life in harmony with nature before it vanishes forever. There is a place in the far north where the sun can stay up in the sky all day and all night. It is called the land of the midnight sun. In the chill of the evening when the sun hangs low, Sarah and Kari take Sami, two Sami girls, draw close to the fire as their mother begins to tell them a story. Long ago, your grandmother followed the reindeer as they traveled up into the mountains for the green summer grass and the high pastures. Like all Samis, she lived her life close to the rhythm of the land and animals, following the circle of the changing seasons. In the warmth of summer, when the sun shone all day and night, life was good in the mountains. But in the dark cold of winter, when the sun sometimes did not rise at all, she and the Nate reindeer could, would return to the lowlands where winter was more gentle. So the sun sets completely during summer in the far north. Did you catch the part about the sun never coming up during the winter? What would it be like to live in a place like that? The Sami shaman seems to be the first to know when the seasons will change. The shaman believes that the trees, rocks, and waters all around have their own spirits, and with the help of the, his drum, he talks with these spirits to find answers for the Samis. Soon, Sarah and Kara are fast asleep. It is early spring, and Sarah and Kari's father is out rounding up the family's reindeer. Like their grandmother, and Sarah and Kara will travel with the reindeer up into the high mountains. The next day, while the girls wait for their father to return, Kara gathers small berries as a treat for the family. After gathering the fruit, she hangs reindeer skins out to dry. Reindeer are the center of Sami life. Their hides are used for clothing and blankets, their meat for food, and they pull the sleds the Samis ride across the snow. The Samis also drink the nourishing liquid from inside the reindeer bones. Then they carve the bones to make spoons, needles, and other things they need. So, it seems that nothing from the reindeer goes to waste. With the help of the f when their father arrives, the girls help their mother take down the lavo, their simple tent, and get ready for moving to the mountains. Kari is happy to see her favorite dog again. He is very good at herding and always goes with Kara's father to gather the reindeer. When the reindeer are rounded up, they must be fed. Sarah and Kara set out some hay for their father to take to the herd. While the girls are busy, their father goes to get a sledge, sledge to carry the hay on. Although the sun is still up, it is nighttime. After helping her mother and sister pack their belongings onto sledge, sleds, Kara falls asleep on an empty sled.
The family will begin moving t later in the night when the sun is even lower and the air becomes colder. Then, as the snow freezes harder, the sleds will slide faster and more easily. While Carr and her sister sleep, their father takes hay out for the reindeer to eat. During the winter, when the reindeer are allowed to roam freely, they eat lynchin, a small plant they dig up from under the snow with their hooves. After the reindeer, reindeer have eaten, father brings in the strongest ones to harness to the sled. It is time to begin moving to the mountains. Kara and her and Sarah like to ride with their father, listening to him, Yoiking, singing traditional Sami poetry. Occasionally, they stop to let the reindeer rest and graze where the spring sun has melted away the sun. As they follow the herd, their father reminds them of, of what Samis have always believed. Nature will care for them as it does all living things. So let's talk about what we have read so far. How does nature take care of the reindeer? How does it take care of, of the Sami? The traditional Samis look for, forward to living high in the mountains for the summer. Some will stay in a goatee, a hut, instead of the lavu. After the snow melts, all the different families, reindeer herds, with, will graze together in the high pastures. The animals will grow strong and healthy, which will help them through the long winter to come. By the end of summer, the adult reindeer will have shed their old antlers. They will have soft new ones covered with velvet, a fuzzy skin that falls off when the antlers become hard bone. Along with their new calves, they will be herded into a large corner coral. This is when the calves ears are marked. Each Sami family has its own mark and the children in each family have their own marks too. These earmarks are important. Each family will use them to separate its reindeer from all the rest when it's time to leave the mountains and travel back to the lowlands for the winter. Sarah, er, Sarah and Kari can spot their family's animals from a distance. While Sarah helps her father, she points to a lone reindeer and asks Kari to check the ear markings. Kara calls back, this is your reindeer, Sarah. Sarah. So to the Sami, reindeer aren't pets like dogs or cats are to us. Why do you think Sami's children have their own reindeer? Before Sari and Sarah and Kara reach the mountains and high pastures, they, there is still more traveling to do. Mother has already gone ahead with other Samis to prepare the Lavos as a resting place. While the girls are helping their father with the reindeer, their mother gathers wood for the fire and makes a pot of stew. She knows her family will be hungry when they arrive. Like Kara and Sarah and their family, other Samis are also herding their reindeer to the mountain pastures. As the different families arrive, they begin to gather for the brings Big spring celebration. Every year the Samis celebrate the end of the long, cold, dark winter. They dress in beautiful woolen and deerskin clothes, covered with decorative hand-woven braid. So left page is traveling under the midnight sun. Everyone is happy. The spring celebration is a time for friends who haven't seen each other for a long time to talk and laugh together. The, there are games too. Over his shoulder, Father carries his favorite blue lasso, a special rope used to catch reindeer. He will complete, compete against others in a contest to see who can throw their lasso the best. Sarah and Kara make their own game. They turn in circles to see how far they can span their skirts out, laughing as they make themselves dizzy. So does this gathering remind you of any parties you have been to? In what way? What do you think the people probably talk about after their long time apart? But the most exciting part of the celebration is the reindeer race. Both men and women complete, compete together, and Sarah and Kara's mother is going to race this year. She carefully checks her sled to make sure everything is ready. Far out across the snow, the Samis race their reindeer. It is hard to tell who is winning at first, but as the racers get closer, it looks like a young man might win. And suddenly, a mother's reindeer bursts into the lead and crosses the finish line. Carr and Sarah are happy their mother won the race. They are very proud of their strong reindeer and to be Samis living in the far north. So what do you think about the culture of the Sami pe people? What do they value most in life? What clues in the book help you to know that?